Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast and the creator of Maximize Your Output with Mem. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Mem's inbox to process and prioritize your notes and everything that's really important. Before we get started, make sure you check out our free course on how to take smart notes. I'll include a link in the description below. Now, let's get to the video. So the inbox in Mem is one of those features that can be a little bit confusing. It can feel like you're not sure what you should be using it for. And one of the things that I realized after I just finished reading my friend Tiago Forte's new book, uh, Building a Second Brain, is that the inbox in Mem can be one of the most valuable features for everything from taking smart notes to taking the time to process important information and much more. And before I actually show you how to do this inside of Mem, there are a few key concepts that you need to understand. The first is that what you consume and capture is information that could include notes from the books you read, quotes that you highlight from podcasts, summaries of key points in a meeting or lecture that you attended or online course you're taking, or even key points from something like watching this video. That is just information and that's what you capture. But if you don't take time to process and reflect on what you consume, it won't be particularly useful because taking time to process what you consume is what reinforces it and starts to help you basically turn information into knowledge and knowledge into wisdom. So if you want to not only put this to use, but also remember something useful, you have to take time to process information. And often we tend to just capture and capture and capture without taking the time to process. So we just have this massive repository of notes. And the thing is that what you create is knowledge and wisdom. So the goal of taking notes isn't to store information. One thing that uh, you'll hear me say over and over again uh, when I teach students in the Maximize Your Output course is that the point of a note-taking tool like MEM isn't to build a knowledge management system, but it's to build a knowledge generation system. And the inbox is a really powerful tool for helping you do three main things. First, it helps you to prioritize what's essential because as you keep adding more and more notes into MEM because of the non-linear organizational structure, it can start to get kind of messy and you can feel like you forgot things. You can feel like you have all these bi-directional links that you've added, but by using the inbox, you can actually prioritize what's essential and you can remember things that you want to deal with in the future. So for example, let's just say you have an idea that you jotted down and it gets lost in the timeline and you're sure you want to remember it. Well, if you put it in your inbox, it'll always be there. So you're not going to be scrolling through the timeline looking for that brilliant idea that you had or this genius idea that you had for something that you wanted to include. And so one way to basically make sure that you don't forget it is to put it into your inbox. But the real nugget in Tiago's book that really unlocked the value of the inbox for me was when he said this. He says the temptation when initially capturing notes is to also try to decide where they should go and what they mean. And here's the problem. The moment you first capture an idea is the worst time to try to decide what it relates to. So why is that? Because when we're capturing ideas, say whether it's from books we're reading or articles we're reading on the web, we're basically in one context. And if you try to process that note right when you capture it, then you start to inevitably context shift, which leads to all sorts of attention issues, which gets distracting. And so you end up wasting a ton of time. And so what the inbox allows you to do is to separate the process of capturing notes from the process of processing them, which I realize sounds ridiculous, but whatever. When you put notes in your inbox, you can come and deal with them later in the day. The final thing that using the inbox in mem allows you to do is to organize notes by destination instead of source so what do we mean by that so as tiago mentioned trying to figure out where a note goes and what it relates to the worst time to do that is right when you capture the note and by putting it in the inbox you can come back to it at some later point and then decide where it's going to go and how you might use it or what projects it might relate to and so as a result, you don't just end up taking all these notes, trying to figure out where they go and, and context shift constantly. You're able to separate your workflow for taking notes from your work execution for using those notes. Now let's go into Mem and look at some examples of what I'm talking about. So you'll see here that I have a bunch of different notes here and some of them have nothing in them. So for example, <clears throat> this morning I was actually going back through Tiago Forte's book and I had some notes that I wanted to add and bit by bit, 
I just put them into the inbox. So for example, I basically put this note and I wrote it in here, I added some bi-directional links. But more importantly, because the note was in my inbox, I also thought to myself, okay, you know what? where else could I use this note? I could use it in this article that I'm writing about why self reading self-improvement books on its own is not enough to improve your life. But the other thing that's great is, let's say that, for example, I have ideas and thoughts and I just want to jot them down, but I'm not ready to process them yet. So for example, this is another literature note or soon to be literature note from Tiago Forte's book, Building a Second Brain. So those are two ways that you can use this to process your smart notes. But another place where <clears throat> this becomes really useful is let's say that you're working on a particular project. So for example, one of the things that was in my inbox up until this morning was this little note titled design and experience you want to have. I'm giving a talk at a convention next week for the UPS store about how to design customer experiences. And this was just a random thought that occurred to me a couple of days ago. And you can see here, it's actually from text messages, but it was sitting in my inbox until this morning. And the nice thing about doing this, when you put things in your inbox, you don't forget about them. And that's when it ends up being really useful because if, for example, let's just had cleared it in my inbox and I'm adding more and more mems. This could have gotten buried in the timeline and I wouldn't have remembered this. Another place where you'll see this become really useful is for something like blog posts. So for example, you can see here that I have a couple of different things. So I have this little nugget titled the necessary work to write something worth reading. There's nothing in there. So it turns out that this was a bi-directional link from a blog post that I was writing about the difference between getting what you want and the reality of what's involved in getting it. And I just had this bi-directional link. But if I had just let the bi-directional link live there without putting it in my inbox, then I wouldn't have remembered that this note was there and remembered that it was something that I wanted to process. So you can see how this starts to be really useful. And one final example is the outline for this video. So you'll probably recognize some of what's in this outline right here. In fact, almost all of this video is based on the things that you're seeing in this outline. And this outline was living inside of my inbox because of the fact that I haven't finished recording this video until right now when I'm doing it. And it basically says right here, your inbox is a repository for notes you haven't processed. And if you go back to the inbox, you'll see here there's a note that says your inbox is a repository for notes you haven't processed, which is ultimately what this whole video is about. So I think the inbox is one of the most underrated features in MEM. And one of the tendencies I had was to start clearing my inbox right away just because I felt like it was cluttered. But then I realized that if you clear your inbox all the time, you actually end up not processing a lot of notes. You end up having a bunch of blank notes with nothing in them, and you end up missing out on a lot of valuable opportunities to capture really useful insights. So the inbox, believe it or not, is one of the most valuable features in MEM to help you not only process your notes and take time to think about them, but to prioritize what's really important. So if you have any questions, as always, feel free to leave them in the comments below.